Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Trisha with another DIY project, how to make a tufted ottoman. So this is the finished look. If you're like me and like tufted items, just stay tuned. I go step by step and show you how. The items you'll need for this project are plastic trash can, ruler, power drill and drill bit, upholstery needle and thread, buttons, spray adhesive, spray paint, a stapler and staples, faux leather, quilt batting, a round table top, and upholstery foam cushion. So I just wanted to show you the trash can that I found at Target. It was only six bucks. I liked it because it had like a narrow bottom and then it expands outward at the top. Um, so I get it kind of had some dimension to it and I thought it would be perfect for the base. So first you want to clean off the item, the trash can, and you want to get rid of any labels that are on the front of it. I'm going to use this Rust-Oleum Metallic Paint and Primer 1 Oil Rub Bronze Color. I'm just going to shake it up for a minute and spray it on top of the plastic trash can. Um, the color it was blue, but I would like it to be kind of a grayish color um, and give it a metallic kind of finish. So basically, the spray paint really adheres well to plastic, um, so only use one coat um, to complete the entire surface, to cover the entire surface. And this is what it looks like once it's um, finished. I found this tabletop at Lowe's for like four bucks. Can you believe that? So what we're gonna do is just take the tabletop and we're gonna find the center. The top is 17.75 um, inches wide and so what I'm gonna do is do a horizontal and vertical line um, and where it intersects is where the middle point is. So it should be 8.875. So here I wanted to show you the buttons that I got from Amazon. Um, it came in a set of 36. Uh, I believe it was between 10 to $15. I thought that was a good deal because it's more expensive if you go to like Joann's or something like that. They're really interesting. So you don't have to, just as long as the button has like the hole on the back of it, um, you can use any button that works for you. So here I'm just kind of like trying to figure out how I'm going to lay out the buttons, how it's going to look. Um, I haven't done the measurements yet, um, so what I came up with was actually four rows. This is what it looks like, and I'm just going to break down the dimensions because it's kind of different. So what I did was find the middle point, and from there, go up on the vertical line one inch, and then place a button there. And then if you go down one from the middle point, go down an inch, put a button there. And then it's four inches above there. You see where I'm doing the marker right there? It's four inches, four inches in length right there. And then on the sides is 3.5 inches. So the space between these buttons here going horizontally are 3.5 inches. That's away from each other. So I hope this answers any questions you may have, but if you find that you have additional questions, just drop it in the comment section below and I'll be happy to answer it. Or you can send me an email at designsbytresha at gmail.com. I hope this helps. So now I'm just elevating the tabletop using bed risers. You can find that at Walmart or at Amazon. Um, it is highly recommended to use and you can um, use it for other projects that you'll be doing in the future. So I'm just using a power drill here um, using a one fourth of an inch drill bit and I'm just making my holes. It really didn't take much to make the holes but it made a lot of mess. And this is what it looks like once I made the holes. And this is what's left, the sawdust. So you have a lot of cleanup there. So now I'm just gonna take the foam that I have and just unwrap it and just lay it out. Usually it comes rolled up and I'm just gonna lay the tabletop on um, top of it and then um, trace the outline of it. Then after you finish tracing it, then you should be able to see um, 
where you marked it and then just take your scissors. I would um, recommend fabric scissors um, to cut out where you traced. So now that's done. So the foam is kind of thin. You might get a thicker one, but I had a thin one, so I decided to do another. So I'm just gonna um, do the same process of tracing um, the outline of the foam that I just did and cut it again. So now I'm going to use this Loctite spray adhesive. It's water and heat resistant. So all you need to do is just shake it up very well and then just spray it in between the two pieces of foam. Next we're going to take the spray adhesive and we're going to spray it onto the tabletop. And then we're going to um, put the foam on top of it. So now we're going to take our upholstery needle and where we make those holes, we're gonna poke um, all the way up to the top of the foam and then mark it. So you'll need a marker, some kind of sharpier highlighter. So now you wanna take your scissors and then just make a little um, circle where those marks are highlighted. So you just cut out a little piece and then um, just put your finger and poke it all the way down to the hole. And this is just to create some space for your buttons. And then after you finish that, you want to take your scissors and then cut down a little bit on the sides at an angle. This will help make it smooth. The edge is smooth, that is. So next I'm taking the quilt batting here and I'm going to lay it across the top of the foam and then cut the excess. I'm just showing you here. You wanna make sure that you have enough to go all the way down to the, the bottom of um, the tabletop. And here again, you're gonna take your scissors and then make holes. You're gonna feel for the holes that you've already created and just um, create a hole through the batting that you just put on top. Yeah, you have a lot of work. Um, I would say this is the hardest part for me. So I wanted to show you the faux leather that I'm using here. I got it from fabric.com. I think it was like $7.99. Uh, and this is the wax button thread that I'm going to use. Um, to adhere my buttons to. So you want to cut a strip um, probably like 10 inches in length and then you want to um, thread it through the hole on the bottom of the button here and then thread it through your um, needle just like so. So what you want to do is fill for your hole um, all the way to the top. So now that you know where the hole is you want to take your needle and just thread it through here and feel for the bottom because you're going to have to pull the needle through. And you might have to feel, you know, kind of move around, move the needle around a little bit to feel for the hole, but it should just go through easily. Just like so. And then you're just going to pull the thread through. Now you want to take out your stapler. I'm using a Dewalt stapler and I'm going to show you how to use it. So basically you're pinching the end of it and just pulling it out and then you're going to take your staples and I'm going to use one fourth of an inch staples T50 and I'm going to turn it upside down and put it in the chamber then I'm just going to close it shut. So make sure your staples are laying down flat or it will not close. And you see the lever, so you hold it like this and then you are, are ready to staple. Just like so. So now we're going to pull the thread that we just um, pulled through the hole. Hold it kind of tight. That gives it the tufted look. 
You see how it looks on the top? So hold it kind of tight. You can wrap it around your finger just like I did. And then just take your staple, lay it flat on the wood, and just press the trigger, just like so. Then take your thread and pull it downward. Take your stapler and staple again. Next, you want to turn it, your thread as a, at an angle upwards and then staple it and then back down and staple it again. So this is to ensure that the thread doesn't go anywhere. And that's how it should look. See, it's starting to come together. So I'm gonna continue to work. And as you go, you will see the lines, you see how it's tufting. Um, so you wanna make sure you um, organize the lines. Um, sometimes it doesn't, you know, do, do it the way you want to so you have to kind of shift the fabric um, so that it's creating that line if that makes sense so now i'm just cutting the excess um, faux leather and then i'm just going to um, staple the fabric to the back of the tabletop just like so and you want to make sure the lines you want to make sure you follow the tufted lines all the way to the bottom, just like so. And that's what it should look like at the bottom. And then now you're just going to cut the excess here. And then you want to cut the excess thread as well. So now you want to find the center of the back of the tabletop because we're going to put our base on there now. Our trash can has dried. <laughs> so weird, our trash can. And then we're going to place it on top of the tabletop and we're going to use um, a wood screw. We're going to use five wood screws and five washers. And we're going to put the washer um, under the screw just like so. And I just show, I wanted to show you the first one that I did. So for each of the corners, we're gonna put a screw and then one in the middle. And it was kind of dark, so I couldn't show you um, me screwing it, but I'll show you the finished, how it looks. I'm sure you get the point. Take a look. These are the five screws that I put in there. And all you need to do is flip it over and you're done you have a tufted ottoman. Isn't that fabulous? Oh my gosh, I am so in love with it. I was not sure at first with the trash can concept, but I love it. <laughs> it really goes with my decor and it's very comfortable. You can put your feet on it and you can sit on it. Very functional. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe below and on Instagram at Designs by Tricia. What DIY project would you like to see next? Add your idea in the comment section below. See you next time.